Good afternoon. This is Dr. Wang. So this time we are going to look at one algorithm. We want to find the smallest uh, sub array uh, with with sum k greater than a uh, value. Okay. Where do you exist? So okay. So we have a array of integers and a number x. We want to find the smallest sub array that uh, uh, the sum should be uh, greater than a given value. Okay, the, the smallest sub array is length. And uh, what do we do? We we do one thing is uh, we we want to design an algorithm which is has the linear uh, time complexity O n and the uh, the O n. So what we're going to do is uh no and plus one. So what we do here is firstly we calculate the current um sum and then we have the minimum length is the x plus one and then we will start the two indicators. One is start finding that and they all start from the very beginning, and then we will keep adding the elements while the current sum is smaller or equal to x. To keep adding the elements from the end, like adding, adding, adding. And here you can see they are adding elements to the current sum, and then the end will keep moving, moving forward. And then if the sum becomes greater than x, so we will just uh, move the start. So e before the current sum is uh, still. You know, bigger than x, then the start is still smaller than n, then we will call, we will remove the start, start, start. And then if the end minor start is smaller than the minimum length, then we will update the minimum length, which is removing the start. Okay. So that's the idea. So we have two pointers, one at the beginning, one at the end, and we just to make sure that the minimum the sovereign lungs is still greater than, um, it keeps greater than X and the uh, start will make it make its minimum. Okay. Sorry, it's so dark. <clears throat> okay, so let's write to the Fiber function, I will just put it here. I will regret this function. Okay, that smallest sub array with the sum. Okay, we have array, we have n, and we have x. And at the beginning, the current sum will be initialized at zero. And the minimum rounds where we initialize as min n plus one and start uh, start and end will be initialized at n at zero and zero. And then we will have one for loop. So for loop is n where n is smaller than n, then we will do one thing we will just do. If the current sum is still smaller or equals to x, we will just need the end is smaller than n. We need to move forward. Moving forward, that means current sum will be added by the array and and then will be moved forward. And once this Commission is not satisfied, we will move the start. 
So if the current uh, sum is still bigger than x and the start is still smaller than n, then we will just uh, uh, okay. remove the start element from the arrange sum and then mm, start the minus, start going forward. But before we do that, we need to update the current minimum length. So if the end minus start is smaller than the minimum length, then we will update the minimum length at the difference between end and the start. And at the end, we will finish this file loop, which is return the minimum length of the subarray. And then you will see, okay, I get it. This is three. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.